Now I'm finna do it all over. I'm finna do my intro. You know, I was planning this intro forever. I'm finna do this intro. Turn this down. I'm finna. Yeah, what's up, your boy Chris Reed? Back in the building. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Chris Reed Beat. We are live streaming in this thing. We're about to get this thing going today. So straight off the top, finna hit y'all off the top with what I got to say. First, I gotta actually fix some of this. You know what I'm saying? It's mad bright in here, bro. I don't know what's going on with this brightness. It's mad bright. All right. All right, so off top, you are not taking full advantage of the Reason Studio. I know you're not. I know you're not. I, don't try to tell me that you are, because I know you're not. You're not taking. You're not taking full advantage. You're not taking full advantage of the Reason Studios. I'm finna give you ten things today. I'm finna give you ten things today to help you take full advantage. Full advantage. And I'm gonna start right now. I'm gonna start right now, and I'm gonna just say it. Why don't you have Reason Plus? Why don't you have it? Why? Make it make sense for me. Make it make sense. Get a yearly subscription. Pay the one-time fee. You get access to all the new instruments, all the new effects. You get access to sound packs each and every week, a brand new sound pack. Why don't you have Reason Plus? Why? Because you want to fight against the patriarchy? Because you want to... What you, what you trying to do? You trying to prove a point? What you, what you think you trying to... <laughs> what, what, what you think you're getting out of it by missing out? What, what you think you're doing? You, you, you're not taking full advantage. You're not taking full advantage. It's the one time something has been created for these people. No other DAW has this situation. No other DAW has something where they're creating and giving you a, a value monthly, weekly, the way that Reason is. No other DAW is doing it. As a DAW, Reason Plus just unlocks so many different things. Sound packs alone, that's number one. It's going to unlock so many things for you. But I'm not going to just, you know what I'm saying, ride that Reason Plus thing. You know what I'm saying? If you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. If money is an issue. That could be an issue. Um, you know, I don't know. I think a lot of people might have this idea about, oh, I want to own the software and I don't like the subscription model. But the subscription model is one thing, but it's what you're getting in addition to all that stuff but i just think that if we're not using that service i think you're not going to get the full you're not going to take full advantage of the reason doll if you don't have that subscription status i don't know you let me know you 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 tell me what you think because that's what that's what i think i think number two if you're not using the regroove mixer then you're not taking full advantage of reason doll i mean why well, have a it's so many different um effects and things that Reason has built into its DAW, not just something that you could download, not just a plugin that you could add, but actually like devices and techniques and things that are built in Reason that's not in other DAWs. Like, why wouldn't you take advantage of it? Like, why wouldn't you learn it? Why wouldn't you figure out intricate details? Uh, could I add it to my piano? Could I add it? It's not just for drums. Could I use it with my bass, my piano? Can I use it with vocals? Can I use it right? Like, it's like, think outside the box. Uh, are you creating your own regroove patches? Because if you're not, you're not using Reason to its full advantage. I think you should start using a regroove mix. Start using a regroove mixer. Use Reason to its full advantage. If you're not using number three, if you're not using the tool window, F8, press F8. And use the tool window. If you're not using the tool window, then you are just not taking the full advantage of reason. You got the randomize on your quantize. So you can play a chord and then hit the randomize on the ticks for your quantize and give yourself a little extra variety on when those chords play. Instead of just having them all play on the one, you get some notes playing in different parts of your time signature because you're using the randomized quantize. But not only that, you could just alter your notes, your MIDI notes using alter notes. You can alter it. You can alter a lot of the notes, alter a little bit of the notes. You can really get random when it comes to using that tool window and using the alter feature. You're not taking full advantage if you're not using that. If you're not using that to affect all of your MIDI notes at one time. I mean, you could highlight an entire clip, an entire MIDI clip 
from start to finish of your song, highlight all the MIDI clips, and then choose, okay, we wanna shorten every single MIDI note by this much. You could do that in the tool window. Uh, we wanna do uh, transpose. We wanna transpose everything up to. You can transpose very easily in the tool window. You don't have to go through each and every single clip because you could just do it all at one time. If you're not using the tool window, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I, I think you're not getting full advantage of this software. Remember, you know, it's a lot of things that people are like, man, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. I wish I had this. I wish I had that. And guess what? You know, we kind of, you know, we kind of can, kind of can smell. And hmm, I think, I think a new version, I think a new version is coming. I, I don't, I can't say for sure. I can't say with any certainty. I can't say, but I, I think something is telling me soon maybe even i don't know maybe, maybe 2023 maybe maybe late 2023 i don't know if i had to guess and speculate i would say one is coming i would say there's a new version of reason that's coming and so with that you know there's going to be some new things but you're going to have a new reason reason 13 the unluckiest reason ever you have a new reason 13 version and you know it's going to be tons of new things for us to love and tons of new things for us to uh have melancholy feelings about uh for those that you know partake in that side of things but it's just going to be a whole new a whole new game right but if you get this new version are you actually taking full advantage of the version that you have are you are you are you are you taking full advantage of the version that you have right now? If you're not taking full advantage of everything that it can do now, how can you appreciate it later? Number four, man, if you are not using the mixer, if you're not using the mixer the way that it's intended for you to use, then you are not taking full advantage of reason. The reason mixer that they have, you know, it has the capabilities to give you the compression that you need, the EQ that you need, the leveling that you need, the panning that you need. It has the capabilities and the possibilities to do the parallel compression, the side chain compression. If you're not getting into that stuff, then you are not taking full advantage of reason. And, and why are we talking about the mixer and parallel compression and all of that stuff? Because in order to get into that stuff, you got to do number five, which is flip the rack. And if you're not flipping the rack, then you are not taking full advantage of the Reason software. It's a reason why all of these routing capabilities are there. It's a reason why Reason is, it's a reason why Reason. There is value in learning how to flip the rack and do the routing that you need to do in order to get the sound that you want, right? Uh, other DAWs allow you to do, you know, some of the same things. Um, but you're limited in places, right? If there's limitations in everything. Everything, there's limitations. But when the limitation is not the software and the limitation is your knowledge, then that means it's up to you. It's not about the software. It's up to you. And so many times there's limitations when you look at some of these other dolls, you know, how many instruments you can add, how many effects you can add to an instrument, how many effects you can add to a bus or how many effects you can send a master bus to. There are limitations. And in reason, those limitations are just not the same. It's not the same because you can add extra utilities. You can add spider audio mergers, which means if you thought you were limited to a certain amount of instruments or you thought you were limited to a certain amount of effects, you could just simply double duplicate, use that audio spurt and splitter merger. You could create chains of effects. You can just do so much more um, and you're not limited in the number and the amount of effects that you could put on devices but you gotta learn how to use it. You gotta learn how to flip the rack. And if you're not doing number six, which is flipping the rack, then you are not taking full advantage of reason. And we're gonna choose, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna dive deep into these topics today, into these beats. When we get to cooking up these beats, we're gonna talk about these things, okay? We're gonna talk about block mode, okay? Number seven. We're gonna talk about whether or not it should even be on this list of whether or not you're taking advantage of reason. Because I had some really good success using block mode. And I've had some times where block mode has blocked me from being able to do what I wanted to do. And then I've had some times where I use block mode not in its like intended use. 
but I just kind of used it how I wanted to use it, right? Um, block mode, should it be on this list? You guys tell me, I don't know. Should block mode be on this list? In other words, if you are or are not using it, I mean, they they hide it in the in the um, option window, window itself, um, so it's already an optional thing. Do you think it will even be in in newer versions? Um, do you think block mode will exist in newer versions? Do you think they're going to change it? Do you think they're going to update it, modify it? Because I wish they would. Um, but I think that block mode, if you're not using it, you're not taking full advantage of it. I think it should be on the list because of this reason. It's a feature inside of reason and not, uh, not um, other DAWs have a block mode now they have their own way that they use their sequencer they have their own way you got ableton with the q launch system you know you got fruity loops with the patterns but patterns are just like clips and um i actually wish that that they hadn't changed the way that you create patterns in fruity loops i'm old school with fruity loop i remember back when you had to like create a pattern and use that pattern all of that good stuff Yellow, uh, your boy Rome says block mode is useless. I do not agree. I don't agree with you, man. I don't agree. You got to tell me why you feel like it's useless. I'm going to tell you why it's not useless because it's number seven on this list. Block mode is not useless because one, you can use block mode to create um, um, to create a visual display of the rest of your track. Now, that's not an intended use. <laughs> I don't think that that's an intended use. That's a use that I do, <laughs> but you could do it. Here's, here's where I got the most benefit and the most, uh, the most benefit and the most use out of block mode. I use the same instruments. I use the same drums. I use the same effects. And I was able to make eight different beats. And I made each beat in a different block. And every time I went, you could, so I could just lay out the blocks in the sequencer and just make one long track that had a similar vibe, had a similar feel. I did that for my lo-fi chill, uh, my lo-fi and chill, you know, playlist, which is actually in my videos. It's about an hour long. It's a bunch of beats that you could just chill and study to, right? I was able to make that because I wasn't like all over the place with my music production like I usually am. Because I will literally go from, hey, let's do like, let's do like a hip hop beat for like Jay Z, and then I'll be like, yeah, now let's do drum and bass and jungle. Yeah, let's do, you know, I'm, I I'll just be all over the place, right? Like, oh, let me go do like a cinematic little. Let's let's pull up some strings and and pretend like I'm a conductor in the orchestra. Like, like I really will just go all over the place with my music production when I'm in block mode all puns intended, I'm blocked in to whatever block I'm working in. So when I use it in that way and I say, you know what? We're using the same instruments. We're going to use the same sounds. We're going to make 10 different blocks with 10 different beats. And if five of those beats are fire, then cool. We got five beats that are fire and they could be their own little EP. I could be making an EP for an artist or I could be making a, a beat, a uh, a beat album, like a, a a beat tape, right? It's all kind of different things you could do with blocks. And that's why I feel like if you're not using blocks, then you're not using Reason to its full advantage. You got to use all of the features of Reason to be using it at its full advantage. Number eight, why are you not using the Combinator? Now, I'm saying it like you don't use the Combinator, but you tell me, are you using the Combinator? Catchy Noise Production, what's good? I know Catchy Noise use the use the Combinator. Catchy Noise, tell me you use the Combinator. I know you use the Combinator. I know with all of the intricacies of the Combinator, it could get it could get it could get deep. It could get geeky. It could get nerdy real fast. I know it can cuz I've been there before. Sometimes when I'm using the Combinator, I'm not in beat making mode. I have to have different hats that I put on. If I'm making a beat, it's not the time for me to make a combinator. If I'm making a beat for a certain particular reason, this is not the time for me to go into the editor and start tweaking and doing all the details about this combinator. I want this switch to do this and I want this switch to do that. That's not the time for the combinator. That's not what it's for. The combinator is for 
whoa, I just created this instrument with this super dope effect chain. I want to save that effect chain. I'm going to highlight all those effects and I'm going to hit combine so I can save that as a combinator patch and I can load that up in another time to use in another beat. Or I'm just going to sit here today and I'm just going to work on reverbs. I'm going to work on my own custom reverb patches and I'm going to create 10 to 20 different reverb combinator patches that I just love and that I want to use. And I'm going to like use different reverbs and I'm going to get different kinds of sounds. And then later, when it's time for me to make my beats, I have now this collection of combinator effects that I can just load into my beats. And the same thing with effects. Um, that was effects. The same thing with instruments. I have this cool instrument stack that I've created. And now that I've created this instrument stack and I've gone through and I've done the, the, the tweaking and everything that I want to do to the instrument stack, I can save that and I can load that up later. So it's not for when you're making beats and you're just trying to No, you got to take time to actually create the combinator patch and be creative. See, the thing about reason is like that's one of its key components. It's the ability to be as creative as possible. Many DAWs and many VSTs give you the option to do sound design. They give you the option to tweak your sound. They give you the option to change different features. They give you the option. They give you options, but not many DAWs and many VSTs actually want you to make the changes. Not, not many of them actually present it in a way to where it's easy for you to make changes. So I look at like Arturia, for example. Arturia you can customize those patches but in the very front when you first get the patch when you're first looking at the vst say for the analog lab for example when you first get it you're just greeted with knobs and those knobs can be changed and that can change a few things but you're not getting deep into the sound design of that patch same thing for like contact contact is really good for it because it's a lot of combinations, a lot of custom customization that you can do. But when you first open the instrument, you're not greeted with all of that stuff. You're greeted with, hey, here's the main things that you can change. If you want your sound to be brighter, if you want more particles, if you want less particles, that's just it, right? It's boom, it's laid out for you and you can change it. So it's not really trying to make you go deep into your sound design or changing your sound or anything like that. That is the difference between reason for me. Reason is like, look, I'm gonna give you a blank slate. You go out, I'm gonna give you this blank canvas. You paint, okay? I'm gonna give you this block of ice. You sculpt it, make it something dope. It's up to you. Now we already done sculpted a few ice sculptures. We, are, we got a few of them, okay? And we already done painted some nice pictures. And if you want, you can go in and, and erase and put your own colors in and you can change the sculpture a little bit. You could do that, but also we got a blank slate for you as well. When you open up the Maelstrom, there's a bunch of knobs, there's a bunch of buttons, there's a bunch of stuff. You figure out how to use it. When you open up the Mimic, when you open up, um, when you open up Quartet, when, when you open up any instrument, any effect inside of Reason, there is some kind of of, of, of a feature or function for you to tweak and for you to turn and for you to change. And that's why number nine on this list is sound design, okay? If you're not sound designing and reason, I don't think you're using it to its full advantage, okay? Because that is one of the key components of reason is sound design. It's creating your own sounds. Look at an instrument like Thor. Look at an instrument like Europa, these synthesizers that you have, huge synthesizers with all of these wavetable uh, uh, um, 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 modulation, modulation, filters, effects, all this stuff built into the instrument, giving you a blank slate and allowing you to create your own sounds. Just giving you a sine wave but you can send that sine wave through a filter and you can send that and you can add distortion and add drive on your filter and you can add modulation you can have a lfo you can do all these different things to where that simple sine wave that boo, that simple sine wave becomes something epic right you can just create a suit like a, a roll piano you could create a keyboard with that one sine wave by getting creative and tweaking and turning and moving stuff sound design if you're not doing sound design and reason you're not taking full advantage man you're not taking full advantage 
And I think some people know the power of when reason opens up and shows you all of these different things that you can do and you actually take time to do those things so that's one thing like aside from reason just in your music production alone one thing that i noticed because i'm definitely not speaking as an oracle or as a guru but i'm just sharing my own thoughts so for me what worked for me that i noticed in the in the past and that i've noticed recently what i worked for me said i don't know how to do sound design what what worked for me in the past is being able to um what worked for me in the past was i'm trying to get to this thing y'all i'm sorry i'm trying to i'm trying to see my chat hold on what worked for me in the past was that didn't help all right cool <laughs> i did the thing it didn't help what worked for me in the past was actually creating patches loops uh samples um, um, devices, whatever, creating something and having it ready to go. If you're not using the favorite section in your browser in reason, you're not using reason to its full advantage. It's such a simple feature. It's such a simple thing, but if it's not being utilized and not being utilized well, then you're not taking full advantage because that's an option that you have in reason that, you know, you want to actually be taken advantage of. The times that I've gone in to make beats and I've had, okay, cool. I got this folder last night. I exported 10 drum loops and today I'm going to use those 10 drum loops to make beats. This is just aside from what you can do a reason, just music production in general. When I've actually put a folder to the side that I want to use in my production, if I say, okay, here's some piano loops. Okay. Here's, here's some patches. I just want patches. I just use the favorite list and create, okay, I'm going to create a, let's say we take our artist and we say, okay, uh, this is going to be my roots. This is the roots. Quest love drums, right? Um, some brass, some piano, some, some roads, a whole lot of percussion and just boom, that's just in the favorites tab. All right, so now I got that favorite. So I know, all right, I want to make something soulful. I want to make something jazzy. I want to make something super hip hop. I got this Roots favorites with all of these patches. It's not to say like, oh, it has like, you know, loops or Rex files, but it's like this favorites list has all these patches that I can choose from. I know that, boom, I got, I got the building blocks. I got the foundation, a template even, if you would, uh, that you could use. Now, I'll share you with this, because I just used the word, I'll share with you um, one of the drawbacks, how I know I have not been using Reason to its full advantage, and that's templates. And whether you are Reason Head, whether you're Reason Gang, or use another DAW, I'm pretty sure that templates is one of those things that you can find in multitudes and, um, and in multiple DAWs. So that's why this is like, not just only for Reason, but just in general. Templates can save you so much time. Reason has its own templates. When you open up and you go to file, you can have a new file from a specific template, right? You have the option and availability to be able to do that. And you also have the option and availability to save your own files as templates. Now, the only time I've used it is to save it for my brand new blank slate template. But one way that I know I haven't taken full advantage Full advantage, full it, fluid advantage, full, fluidity. What? One day I, one day I know. One way I know that I have not taken full advantage of reason is I have not been using the templates. I really should be using the templates and reason to just build out an instrument stack, build out some effects, build out some, build this thing out to where I know. Okay, here's my drums, here's my keys, here's my bass, here's my organs, here's my auxiliary sound, here's my percussion, and I can just switch between those patches if I want a different style or a different flavor. Or I could just say, boom, this is the Chris Reed sound, because I know exactly, if I told you guys the Chris Reed special, I know exactly what instruments, what sounds, what drums, I know exactly what I'm going to. I use the same exact stuff every single time. I use the same exact stuff when I say Chris Reed special. I use the same stuff every time. I know what roads I'm going. I'm going to use the roads. 
I'm going to use a rose patch, and I know what roads I'm going to use. I'm going to use a bass patch, and I know what bass I'm going to use. I'm going to use some drums from the Knife Wonder drum kit that I'm pretty sure all 22 of you that's watching right now have downloaded this Knife Wonder drum kit. All of you have seen it. It's legendary drum kit. It's out there. It's free. People have pirated it. It's been free. It's been free shared, freemium. It's out there some way, shape, or form. If you haven't had it, just Google it. Ninth Wonder in, in, in. The number nine, T-H, Wonder, W-O-R. What? what am I saying? I think I had too much coffee this morning. Uh, Ninth Wonder, nine, T-H, W-O-N-D-E-R, kit, K-I-T. Ninth Wonder kit. Google it. I know that y'all have it. I know everybody. I know every. I didn't even know about it. Nah, you nah. Go Google it. Everybody has this kit. It just has some. It just has some drum kits that are pretty good. It's pretty clean. Pretty clean sounding drums. I know I'm gonna use those drums. I'm gonna use the Rhodes. I'm gonna use the bass. I'm gonna use those drums. I'm gonna use the flute. Not just any flute. Not a new flute. Not a custom flute. Not a flute that I've just found not a live flute i'm going to use mtron flutes from reason stock i know i'm going to use it use it every single time i might use some strings or i might not i might if i do use strings i'm either going to use long strings meaning strings that have a lot of sustain from the orchestra sound bank or i'm going to use pizzicato strings and I'm probably going to add some reverb to that pizzicato string. Now, I'm giving away my whole little template. But that's my template for the Chris Reed special. That's what I do every single time when I put in my mind, hey, Chris, just make a Chris Reed special beat. All right, cool. Chris Reed special. I know it's going to have these elements every single time. Why don't I just make a template that has that ready to go? Because you're not using reason to its full advantage. You're not using reason to its full advantage. So... Here is my, here is my, here is my summary to you guys. I appreciate y'all uh, for, you know, stepping in, you know what I'm saying, to watch the stream. We're going to get into some beats. Here's my, here's my summary uh, for you in terms of, uh, in terms of, I'm, I'm going to get to what you're saying, your boy Rome. I see what you just said. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, here is my summary to you. If you are not using the features inside of Reason that are native to Reason, then you're not taking full advantage of Reason. And there are some things in Reason that you can do to help you take full advantage of Reason. I was on a call this week, last week. I had so many people join. I had so many people join our... Uh, I had so many people join this one-on-one -on -one reason training that you can get on my website that you can schedule for. I had so many people join that I had no time to do anything else, but it was great. It was an awesome, awesome experience because I got to talk to so many people and learn about the gripes and the problems and the issues that they were having in reason. And one thing that I went over with one of the people that I was helping that week was bouncing your audio files as Rex files. And what happens is you tell somebody, hey, you could do this. And then they say, I didn't even know you could do that. And that moment right there, that's the moment that we're, that's the moment that we're talking about overall. I, I gave 10. That doesn't even scratch the surface because that last one wasn't even on it. But there's so many things that you can do native to reason. I mean, there is no other Rex file in other DAWs. That's native to reason. Yeah, you have Slicer. Yes, you have, you know, you have you have the ability, you got Serato sample where you can slice up. You you got all these different things. But reason has the ability to do some of those same sampling. Uh, um, tools and some of those same sampling techniques and if we're not using it like this is the doll that we love this is the doll that we use and if we're not using it then how can we say we're taking full advantage of it how can we say we're taking full advantage of reason so um with that i'm saying that to say 
I know it's stuff. I know it's stuff out there. And I know it's stuff that uh, we can do in reason that maybe we just haven't even thought of. Um, recently, uh, I said I wanted to um, uh, make some beats and talk about some news. Uh, I got featured on Reason Studios page again. If you guys haven't seen that video, uh, I encourage you to go check it out uh, when you have some time. Uh, if, if, if you're looking in, into it, one reason why I would tell you to check it out is because I created this combinator patch um, that is free for you to download and it's in the description of that video. So if you haven't checked that video out, I would encourage you to go check that video out and um, then you can get that download. Now, with that being said, um, it's really cool when you take the time to learn something new and to experiment and that combinator patch and working with reason and now getting some new um getting some new opportunities with reason is really exciting for me so as you've seen those videos i'm hoping and praying that i can continue to work and work hard and work diligently and continue to bring more video, more videos for my channel, but also more videos for the Reason channel. And as those opportunities come in, um, then you guys will see me a lot more over there as well. Uh, it was kind of one of those things like, uh, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed, you know, this has been going good, it's a, this is a great relationship. Uh, you know, so we, we went on a couple dates and uh, the dates went really well. And so now I'm just trying not to do anything, uh, <laughs> trying not to do anything to mess up the relationship, you know? So it's like, all right, cool. I, I, I'll just, you know, I'll just move on y'all terms. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's kind of like uh, one of them situations, right? So it's like, all right, cool. The first date, first date went really good. I come home, I call my mom, say, mom, the first date, Wow, mom, I'm really excited. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited about this. First day went good. Second date, wow. You know, call my call my buddy, call my best friend. Bro, second date went really good, bro. You know what I'm saying? And so then it's like, all right, cool. Let's just keep, let's just keep doing what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, man. Let's just keep, you know, praising God, thanking God, and keep working. You know what I'm saying? Keep working and be diligent you know what i'm saying um it really is a journey bro like i'm talking about the first program i'm talking about the first program that ever caught my attention with making beat 15 some odd years ago back when it was called propeller head reason first one ever stuck with it all the way through you know, the possibilities, the opportunities, you know what I'm saying? We got to. We got to see it through. We got to keep going. Got to keep going. Uh, so that's the news I wanted to tell you guys. You know what I'm saying? We dating. <laughs> ah, we dating. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get married. I'm trying to get married. You know what I'm saying? Will you marry me? Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I ain't, I really ain't that deep. I ain't that deep in it. But I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get that deep to it where I could even be able to say that like oh you, I don't know y'all maybe maybe it might come around this day. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do none of that. I had a I had some 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 uh I had some times where uh I ain't even finna say that. I'm gonna just say hopefully it comes out soon. And you already know that when it does come out, when there is a rumor about it, when there is uh, news about the next version, whatever's happening, just know you can come here, subscribe to the channel. I'm definitely going to be going over it. All right. Definitely going to be going over it. So uh, with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for hanging out with this talk. Um, we're going to get into some beats. We're going to get into some beats. I got my Arturia Mini Lab here. Of course, I got this keyboard here, um, but I don't have a I don't have a, a, a USB for it, um, but I want to use this today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to 
But with that being said, we're going to swivel this guy and we're going to jump. Oh, look at that. All right, so we're going to jump over here to reason and we're going to. uh, Wow, this thing that was that was a uh, that was OK. I'm cool. I'm cool with it with that. I'm cool with that because. I'm cool with that because it worked for so long. Before it stopped working. Yo, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out. Tears of the Fallen uh, Kingdom. Bro, I cannot wait. Bro, I cannot wait. We're going to go through the roll call as I get my reason back up and as I get my camera back working again. Um, 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 I want to go through some of this chat. Zelda inspired beats. I like that, OV. I like that. I like that. We gon' we gon' we gon' run with that. Da 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 We gonna do that. We gonna go with that, and we gonna start with Zelda. Now, the thing that I've had problems with. Uh, remember when they added audio? Yes, I do. <laughs> remember when you couldn't do like sampling at all? Remember like when, when, um, when like you had, you didn't have this button here, this start sampling. Remember that? Remember they didn't have that option available? How life was back then, the things that I would have to do to try to get audio or samples or stuff inside of reason using 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 software like recycle oh my oh my oh my oh my god oh the struggle but hey it all works out it all works out it all works out all right so dun, 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 dun. now my problem with um my problem with uh, Zelda beats is so many people have done some super dope stuff with Zelda beats. And um, I'm literally like, I am intimidated because they have done some really dope stuff with these Zelda beats, man. I remember I used to listen to this one, this one dude, man. He had this Zelda. Oh, man, it was so dope. It was so dope. I'm, I'm going to get into that. Right now, I want to play... Um, I want to play something uh, that I was working on recently. Let me let me do my shift over, and then we're going to shift into production mode. Um, let me play something first so we can kind of, you know what I'm saying, get the vibes going real quick. Get the vibes going. Get a plan going. And then we're going to hit this thing up.
<laughs> OV just won the award for funniest, funniest comment, funniest live chat that won't ever be seen. <laughs> but OV, <laughs> I don't think it just it came up on my it came up on my chat like show or hide. Like, oh, this message is held for review. This is hilarious. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> he just won the award. So funniest, funniest chat ever, bro. <laughs> Regroove mixer, regroove mixer. So um, let's do a nice little roll call here. We got Mike George in the building. Ricardo is in the building. J Hart Music is in the building. OV is in the building. Uh, Ahmed Nasir is in the building. Johnny is in the building. Your boy Rome is in the building. I got to see if I, if I said these names already. Crum, Crum is in the building. Um, uh, uh, let me see who else is, is in this thing. Right now, I said J Hart, Ashley Prince. Good to see you in the building, sir. Uh, is in the building. Uh, I think I said these already, Johnny. Uh, do do do. Catchy noise production in the building, and we are getting started with some beats. We got our midway roll call going through. Now I saw Mike said on track audio editing is what's not there. What do you mean by that? What what do you mean by that? <laughs> it's one of my favorite memes, by the way. What, what, what do you mean by that? What, what do you mean by that? Um, if they made multi-audio editing smoother and got that VST3, I might use it more for these things. Yeah, what do you mean by uh what do you mean by uh on track audio recording? I'm trying to get an understanding of what you mean by that. Because we know we can do audio recording. I know y'all know we can do. Yeah, I know we can do audio recording. We're not even finna play it, act like y'all don't know. We're not gonna play and act like y'all don't know that Reason can do audio recording. Mm -hmm. Reason definitely can do audio recording. Recording vocals is easy for recording vocals once you get the hang of it. Uh, that audio track editing of vocals is not smooth all right let's check it out i use audio recording for vocals and instrumentals that come in the lab with guitars horns or whatever yes at some point in time ricardo we all have all have in the, in the words of some wise people, uh, when you know better, you do better. <laughs> uh, you got to edit, edit, yo. Say, for instance, lining up vocals. All right. Okay, so. Um, Out of it. Oh, the beat. I ain't forgot. Tell the beats. Do, 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 because I'm definitely starting with that melody. Do, 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 do. All right. 
check, 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 check. Feel like recording is an afterthought and reason. Really? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like recording is an afterthought. I don't feel like it is. Uh, <clears throat> I think that before, absolutely. I think before you could absolutely say that if we're talking about prior to the record days prior to record you know reason record was about like reason six seven prior to that it definitely wasn't for audio it definitely wasn't for a recording um i wouldn't even say afterthought it just wasn't a thought um but since then with the addition of you know the audio tracks and the way the audio tracks work and everything like that now nah, i would say it's definitely a uh it's definitely a forefront um and let's just look at a few things right now let's check it out Y'all, be honest, was y'all waiting for me to start rapping? <laughs> be honest, was y'all waiting for me to start rapping or what? Okay, look at here. All right, so cool. We can normalize these. So we got these, we got these little uhs. Ah, uh, we got these little uhs and Look, uh, look, uh. If everything is in tempo, then there is no problem with moving things around, right? Lining things up, adjusting things. If stuff is in tempo. Now, if it's not in tempo and you just drop some files in, that's where you're going to have a problem. Um, but as long as everything is in the same tempo, you should be good to go. Also, you got to like learn how to make like fine adjustments. You got to learn how to make fine adjustments and you got to learn how to um how to be specific about your movements and things of that nature that's where this position up here is going to really come in handy because you can unsnap and get to moving this audio track around and that's a very that to me that's very dangerous territory to be in unsnap land just moving it with your mouse that's kind of dangerous i wouldn't do that um i would leave that snap on and i would get very specific how much snap do you need to do? Uh, how much snap do you really need to do in order to move things, move things around, right? Um, to line things up because at least if you got, even if it's 1 28th of a snap, it's not just giving you these random numbers. It's giving you very specific numbers. Look at the top at the position when you get to moving this guy around, 30, 60, 120. So he's giving you very specific numbers and it's going to give you very specific numbers each time because it's moving on some kind of a grid and you could get it back to, you know, to that position. I mean, so that's the snap, right? That's what snap. I know that that's only a small part of what we're talking about here, but you have the ability to move stuff around and, and line some stuff up. Now, here's the other thing that I was talking about is you can just go right click. Um, I guess that's one of the things um, is there is a, there's a format that you have to follow um, in order to be able to bounce this as a Rex file because you need to be in slice edit mode. And then when you get into slice edit mode, now you're in slice edit mode right here, right? And now you see all of these slices are here. And now you can, you know, move these slices around. Or you can add slices, do what you need to do. But now is where you would right click and then go to bounce. And then go to bounce clip to Rex file. And so now you got a Rex file that you can use. Scrolling through the project while lining up audio is not up to par. Man, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta understand what you mean by that, man. I gotta understand what are you taking advantage of the shortcut keys? So, you know, you know, you got your scroll wheel, you go up and down, but you know, if you hold shift, you can go left and right, right? You, you know you can do that right 
And you know if if you if you if you if you press uh what is that? If you press U, you get this hand tool. And if you're using your hand tool, you can move around. So if you switch between U and Q and you're moving this guy. Okay, and I need to move over this way. Okay, now I need to move over this way. Okay. Right? Matter of fact, uh there's another one that you could do. Depending on which tool you're on, you could do different things. But you can always move, you can move this around. This one, you know, are we are we doing that? You know, are we are we zooming in? Do we know that we can hold control and do the scroll wheel and we can zoom, we can zoom up and down with that? Do we know that we could do that? Do we know that we can hold alt? Do we know that we can uh hold shift to go left and right? Right? There's another one in here too. Oh, this one. Do we know that we can zoom in and out by holding control and shift together? Control shift together, you can zoom in and out. You can do that zoom. So you have this zoom and this zoom for moving around. That that's important. How we how we you how we move around and how we uh how we move around in reason is important. I, I I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm gonna keep uh, control plus Z. You 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 need that you need that undo. You you need that undo. Uh, um, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I don't very often use this hand tool. I don't use that hand tool a lot. More than likely, I'm grabbing this crossbar. I'm, I'm more than likely I'm grabbing this down here at the bottom more than I'm using that hand tool just to keep it real with you. But it is there. It's, it's a it's a possibility. You can also hold shift. Look, it's a lot of different shortcuts that you can do. You know, moving this doll around. Talk about talk about not taking full advantage. I mean, could we just spend like 30 minutes on moving this sequencer around? What? I just unlocked that. I didn't know you could do that. So I've always like scrolled left and right like this. I will just grab this guy at the bottom, scroll left and right. Or you can hold shift and use your scroll wheel on your mouse, move left and right. But if you click this and hold shift, now you have access to this zoom as well. I didn't know that. Somebody tell me y'all knew that. Tell me you knew you could do that. Look at this. I did not know you could do that. And now I'm upset. I'm upset. So talk about like not taking full advantage. Yeah, that's that's one of them big things right there. That's 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 one of them. That's one of those big things right there, man. Taking advantage. Um your boy Ron said he knew that. I knew that. I don't use it though. All right, all right, for sure. For sure. Well, that's dope. I'm glad you knew about it, man. I'm glad you knew about it. I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to go back to that. Uh, I'm going to go back to that. Um, I'm going to go back to that That manual. I'm going to read up on some stuff. I, I'm, I, I told myself that before, though. I said, yeah, um, you know a lot or, you know, you know some good stuff. But you always learning something new, man. It's always something new to learn. You know what I'm saying? It's always something new to learn. Always. Look. Uh. Look. Uh. I think the main thing with recording, man, recording vocals, you got a good microphone. Is your microphone set up in a good spot, in a good place? Um, I don't know if, if Fruity Loops has changed I don't know if they changed uh, their process for recording audio, but the last time I remember, every time you go to record the audio, you got to specifically click a button and then click record audio in the sequencer. I don't know if they've changed that or not. But reason is very simple. I mean, as long as that red button is armed on your audio track, you can turn on the monitoring or not. You know what I'm saying? And... Another cool thing is, you know, if you press three or this dub button, you could just create dubs, right? You don't have to like go add track, add another audio track. And the cool thing about that is when you're duplicating, say if I duplicate this audio track 
and inside the audio track i like put my compressor and i had like a bunch of stuff already in here and i got the stuff to sound like you know exactly how i wanted it to sound you know what i'm saying and stuff was sounding good and feeling good to me then it's like okay cool i don't have to I don't have to redo this or copy this. When I go to dub this, when I hit dub, it's going to copy the instruments, the effects as well. It's going to copy these effects as well. So like, you know, just could just make your audio recording like even easier. You know, I'm going to see if I can, uh, if I could do something in this uh, situation right here with these vocals real quick. I'm going to put this gate on and, um, See how much I can uh see how much I can adjust it and see how much I can uh I feel like that's too much. Yeah, but it's not it's not moving fast enough for me. Let me see. Check. 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 I want it like that. Check. Oh boom. Okay, cool. There we go. There's our gate. I had this fan on in the background. When I use the other microphone, you can't really tell, but with this one, you can tell. Is this on? Okay, it's not on. Okay, it's just this. I'm getting like a weird... Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay. I like the way keyboards sound through microphones. I like the way they, I like the way they sound. Recording audio from my bass, for instance, I prefer to use the fine control of Waves NS1. One thing I'll say about um, another thing, like oh man. oh man, I haven't I haven't used that Waves. I haven't used that to be able to give like a comparison. Um, so I couldn't say. Uh, the differences are not for me um, with that. I can only say based upon what I've had experience with, but uh, I feel you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. I think that it's definitely a different feel. It's a different vibe. Like say, for example, like if somebody wanted to argue about, using um using reason or like using using programs using which program to use for recording or for making what like i don't think anybody would argue that pro tools is a place where you should record vocals i don't think people uh say we're losing your audio i don't i don't don't think think people people would, would uh i don't think people would argue against um I don't think people would argue against should you use Pro Tools or not. Like, I think it's a pretty common knowledge that Pro Tools has some of the features and techniques for recording audio. It's kind of like having uh, Audacity on steroids, like, right, how you can just, like, affect at each audio clip specifically. Like, the most you could do with that in Reason to the audio clip would be, like, a reverse and normalize like that's pretty much the extent that you could do like to this wave file you could bounce it but i mean like actually affecting it okay you do you do a crossfade now and then you can move like you can quantize and stuff like that but i'm saying like they have like actual features like you can apply an eq directly to the audio file like not to a track but to the file you can apply noise or denoise and you can apply compression and thresholds you can you can apply this stuff directly to the audio file so that's like a little different 
Um, and so that's there's some advantages there when using like something like Pro Tools, of course, right? Like you would never, you know, you wouldn't do that. Um, but could you do it? That's 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 the main thing. That's that's the thing. Could you do it in reason? Could it be done? Yes, it can be done. It can be done in reason. Um, it can be done. Um, you could like right now, like me, like I could make this beat, have this beat and then record the vocals for a song into this beat, mix everything like it could be done. And and like um, Jay Hart was saying and um, some other people, I think Mike George and your boy Rome was saying it's about a feel. It's like, how do you feel? Um, how do you feel when you're recording it? When recording vocals, how do you do versions? Do I just make another audio track? What you actually could do is just let it record itself and just overdub. Um, so, for example, um, all right. So let's let's record this. Uh, you find a good woman, you find a good thing. So um, with that recording that I just did right there, right? Let me pull back, back to this other guy. <clears throat> so with this recording that I just did right there, in Reason, it's automatic. So every time that you record and you record over that recording, you're getting what's called a comp or you're getting like a, a, a second take. So when you press this comp edit, this is for the question that was asked earlier by about to flip. Um, when you, when you press, when you click on this audio clip, you get these options up here at the top for comp editor, pitch editor, slice editor. Um, I think these should be like closer down here. I think they should be at the bottom, but when you click comp editor, now you get all of the takes that you have just done. And you can use this right here to crossfade between them, to change when you want, what take to go where, if you want the take to appear at all, right? You can actually say, oh, okay, yeah, I only want this take. I want this take. I want this take. You can choose which take and you can audition those takes as well, right? So we can say, you find a good woman, you find a good thing. Right, and you can play this one. The find up, not to find up, not to. All right, cool. And then we have this last one right here. Uh, oh. Oh, this the third time around. So that's um, comp edit, right? And in that way, these three are all together. Okay, so they're always there. And you can switch and change between them. And then what you want, if you want, what you could do is you could copy this by holding control. You could copy that and then you could go to comp edit and you can choose a different one and you can go to comp edit and you could choose a different one. So now you have all three of the different versions on different tracks, right? You can have all three on different tracks. So that's an option uh, of something that you can do right now as well. So comp edit would be the way that you could do that. And the way that you get access to that is you just record and you record within a loop. And every time it loops back around, it will just start the next take for you. So you don't even have to stop it. You could just, it will just start the next take for you. And you can have, I've had up to 90 different takes um, on one of these recordings um, because I just looped and then I just was playing the drums and I just had all of those takes. So it was just a bunch of takes and they just were all just there. Um, but somebody else said also, well, you could just, you know, oh, okay, I have that vocal recording. I want to do another one. Just hit dub or hit three on your number pad. 
you hit dub or you hit three on your number pad and then just record again right now you can just record it again so um those are some different options and, and different things that you can do with that um yeah all right cool reason gang that's right um <laughs> i always <laughs> always feel a way about <laughs> so i'll be like <laughs> like so i just be like uh reason family can we say uh can we say reason crew like reason uh reason squad like nah it's reason gang homie it's reason gang but but we don't but we don't bang at least i don't i, I grew up around that i grew up around that but that's not me so we're using gang we're using gang differently in this context really cool cool uh, really cool um really cool melody you know what i'm saying let's get the first part of that melody in there so uh, They say, no, we a gang. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be adding it later, though. Oh, man. The ops. That's funny. What is that? Speed it up. Uh, um.
I didn't have no more. All right, so we're making Zelda beats. We're making Zelda beats. With we're just gonna fix that note. Da 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 da. da. My camera back. Let me see. Camera come. Do that next part. So let's. Hey, if y'all down for me to play Zelda one day on stream, I have Breath of the Wild. If y'all, if y'all really like some Zelda fans, and y'all gig with me, like, let me know in the chat, cause I'll definitely come on here and just play Zelda one day as well. Yeah, I was, was I also was thinking about starting a gaming channel as well. But y'all, let me know if y'all if y'all be down for that. If I start a gaming channel and I just come in and play Zelda in different games, if y'all actually come and watch and check it, but and check it out with you. So bum ba ba bum bum. Timber wood. All right, for sure. I got one. Got y'all. If I can get it to work for me, why learn another? Oh. My dad, my dad just sent me a wild, a wild, a wild text <laughs> message. A wild text message. Like, <laughs> what is you talking about? But I'm finna just send them. <laughs> I'm finna send them that I'm live. I'm live making beats right now. <laughs> um, okay, let's finish this. Let's finish this Zelda melody that we got right here. everything in there okay so now i'm finna i'm finna show y'all that oh y'all on question holy moly Donut shop. I see that's for like like a drum and bass type type situation. Urban takeover. What I got for me? I think that
My favorite part right there. I like that. Let's run it. Boom, two, clap, two, clap, two, clap, boom, clap.
X Corp. Bing, bing, bing. Oh man, I appreciate it. I hope you guys got something out of it. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys learned, you know, something. Mixer. Yeah. Oh, look, Dad's in here. You go, boy. Guys, bless you with talent I can only listen to and admire. I love you, my son. Keep up the good work. It don't stop till the casket drop. That's my dad, y'all. That's that's my real life dad. <laughs> Don't stop till the casket drop. <laughs> that's too funny.
This one? From Oh Gosh Essentials Drum Kit. If you know Curtis King, if you know Curtis King uh, and Oh Gosh Leotis, Curtis King and Oh Gosh Leotis, um, they drop drum kits and stuff. I believe the website is called um, Man. Mm, what is that website called? Real quick. Is that a step? They have a website. And they have samples, like a sample website. Um, Slap Experts is what it's called. Slap Experts. Uh, they have these drums called OG DK5. So the um, this is not an ad, by the way, but it kind of is. Um, they have a bunch of different uh sound packs and different stuff that you can grab, and um, they have some free ones. And um, I think there was something that I bought. It was like Curtis King had a deal. It was like, oh, if you buy this. Then you get these drum kits for free. So that's how I got the drum kit. So yeah, that's that's where that 808 is from. It's from that uh that website. Slap experts. Slap, get slapped. Get slapped. Slap experts. Now what y'all looking at my studio? Back to the beat. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, bum.
Don Music, man. Appreciate you for coming through. Hey, Major Keys, what's good, man? I had a little shorty. Bow, bow, bow. Bow. Bow, 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 bow. Had a little shorty. Her name was Zelda. So I had a little shorty. Feel like I could change the drums and do something a little different because this it's a cool little bop. But what if I got a little more hip hop, maybe?
we'll change some see what this ad sound That's the that's the ver the version I want. M Tron flutes. I had a little shorty. Her name was Zelda. All the sounds was good. Her name was Zelda. Rescue. Went to rescue. Her name was Zelda. You know what the thing about the um I forgot I even put that um that poll up there, but we got a lot of votes and we got a lot of votes for yes. And here's the thing. We put this vote up there and we got 20 votes. And 65% of you of those votes said yes so we got more than half so more than 10 people more than 10 i think the percentage of uh, this that math they taught you in school that you knew you would never have to use and so you never really learned it you never figured it out <laughs> you know what i'm saying it was like ah, oh, what mm, we ain't gonna never use this ever you know what i'm saying one of them situations never gonna use this math um of the 20 people that voted looks about about 13 or 14 of you about 13 exactly 13 people said they would watch the streaming gaming channel now this is the thing if i start the streaming gaming channel and then i put it up hey i'm streaming today i'm doing the streaming gaming channel y'all and then 13 people don't show up them 13 people say yes don't show up then i'm gonna look at y'all differently but um in general i feel you in terms of uh the gaming channel holla sounds i feel you about that what my thing about it is is um i like streaming and i like talking to people in the chat and just one of the things that i've noticed like making beats um, it's harder to talk to people and like keep up conversation because it's like uh, I mean all right for sure I'll see you later man um, it's harder to like talk to people and keep up conversation when you're making the beat because it's like you just want to make beats so it's like a different vibe and so sometimes if the chat uh, can entertain themselves basically and like talk with each, each other then like that's cool right but then other times it's like yeah you want to be able to you know do something where you can interact a little bit more plus it's just like with this whole youtube situation i'm trying to do it all all right i'm trying to do it all man i'm trying to do it all i'm trying to i'm trying to build as many communities and, and as many situations as i possibly could build so you know what i'm saying if we do a chris reed beats and then we do a chris reed gaming like you know man for sure, when the new Zelda drops, I'm definitely going to do one. I'm just thinking if I'm going to start it now and start playing and building it up to it um, so that I can be able to do it uh, when that game drops. So Tears of the Fallen Kingdom uh, drops sometime in 2023. 
So definitely want to do that because this is what I noticed. Whenever a new game is out, like a lot of people go to watch people play it. And um and um you can really start and build like really good channels if you're consistent and you know you really do it. So like I'm really like down for that and I'm down to be able to have you know, conversation and be able to talk to people and stuff like that. I don't have a discord because I know like right now in this where I am, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not dialed in enough to be able to like do the discord justice. You know what I'm saying? Like I would want to, uh, I would want to be able to like do it justice, like really make it good and like have it run well. And, you know, so I know I couldn't do it right now. Shorty, her name was Zelda. All right, that's probably as much as we're going to do with that one. <laughs> That's as much as we go get. I'm gonna turn this fan on, man, so I can feel this fan real quick, man. Uh, let's get some instruments in here. Let's get some stuff we ain't used yet. Get some stuff. Oh man. All right, there we go. Oh, you know what? Since we was since we were on the topic, I actually got something. I got something I could play for y'all real quick. Let me see if I can find it. Cuz I did this before. I did this before on this on reason. Let me see if I can find I got a I got a file. Um a reason file. Where I did this before. Gotta find. There it is. All right, let me open this guy up. It probably won't even open. What I'm missing? There's a missing, missing some drum sound. I'll say. Get away, kid. Get away. Gotta be. Ah, I found it. Awesome. I'll play this. <laughs> I'll play this. Guys. I had a little shorty. Her name was Zelda. I went to rescue her.
we go. I do not have um, a Discord. I forgot I had made that. <laughs> So that's that. Um, Zelda inspired. I don't want. Yeah, you guys can see those up here at the top, the RAM and everything. It says 23 gigs of RAM is being used right now on this computer. How is that possible? What am I doing that's using up 23 gigs of my 32 gigs of RAM? What could it be? All right, Chris Respect. Chris Re Special, right? Chris Re Special with, with recorded. With 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 some live guitar also, crispy special with some live guitars. Picking it, put a snare. I like that snare, box snare. I hadn't. But we like tambourine. Let's use that perk loop. As we can. Nah, definitely no viruses. Definitely no viruses. I got good virus protection, and I have not. Uh, I have not. I have not done any of those things on this computer that would give you viruses. On this computer, I have not. comment.
recorded at all. Let's do that again. What's up? Yes, sir. I was just telling my wife Chris is a propeller head now. <laughs> uh, not yet. like this perk loop anymore. Okay, I like it better now. I, I have no clue why I just decided to do this, but I just, I was like, I don't like that perk loop no more. Yeah, I like it better. Oh. Oh. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha 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 ha. No way. No way. Oh, wow. Oh, the whole thing. Whole thing. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Dang, how come this? Hmm. Dang, son, just broke on me right now. My whole thing just broke on me right now, man. It's mad, it's mad, man. It's mad. The whole, the whole thing just broke on me, man. It's mad, man. The whole, the whole, the whole thing just broke on me, man. It just broke, man. The whole thing is broke, man. It's broken. The whole thing is broken, man. 
Hey, yo, what happened? It's done. It's done, man. <laughs> All right, yeah, let me see what's going on with my computer and stuff, man. This, 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 this is... I might not even be streaming no more. This thing completely cut off on me. But see, remember we said that I was like, yo, it's something going on. They said it was like so much. It was like so much. I don't know what happened. It crashed. It's done. It was like, hey, we give up, bro. Uh, And now I can't get. Oh, man. Come on, man. Open it up. Oh, for the oh, okay. I'm still streaming. It said 31 gigabytes. So basically, I used I used all of my RAM <laughs> at one time, and it was like we quit. Okay, because I it says I'm live, but on my YouTube creator studio, everything was just black. Like the whole rest of the everything, everything else was just black. Um, Got to free up hard drive space. Oh, wow. I was still live that entire time. Huh. All right. Well, it's not. Look, it said recover it. It says there's a recovered file. It's not. It's not the file that I was just working on. Watch. It's not going to be the file. It's gone. File contains orphan audio stream. Cover them joints. Look, there's nothing there. Nothing. It's done. That's not what we was just working on. So we lost it. It's gone. Bye. Out of here. That's out. I, I don't want I don't want to have to get a new computer. I don't want to have to get I mean a good computer. I don't have to get a new computer. I'm on a PC. I got some pretty some pretty strong specs on this PC why I shouldn't be having these issues but I think the issues I feel like if I took it to somebody like if I took it to Micro Center like they would be like oh whoa like your 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 motherboard is like fried in certain spots like you know this is fried that is fried I have uh I'll show you right now what I got I have multiple uh, drives, actually, King Willie. Um, um, I like this computer stuff. So my regular drive is 500 gigabytes. Um, but I have a one terabyte. These are not external. These are internal drives. So I have a one terabyte internal. And then I have another, I think it's another 500, this one. This is another 500 internal. So it's built into the computer. And then we have this is this is an external hard drive and this is an external hard drive. Honestly, I think that's more so what it is. I think it's a uh, just like a lot of stuff, bro. But see, like the Seagate is not is not um the Seagate is not the Seagate is a hard drive disk. So that you know that like ten it's ten terabytes. It's just for archive. It's just for archive. So archive, 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 archive. All these like YouTube stuff. Cypress stuff, you know what I'm saying? All my all my different little 
stuff that I got in there. It's just archived. So, but the rest of these are SSDs. The rest of these are SSDs. This is an M.2, the main one. This is an M.2 drive. Um, and the rest of these, this is a Samsung and this is a Samsung SSD. They're, they're, they're SSD drives. Um, so I wouldn't use the Seagate because the Seagate is it is a physical drive and um it's not full but it's getting there right King Willie like it it definitely has more than fifty percent capacity oh man I'm gonna have to go through and clean this stuff out I just have so much stuff I keep and I keep I keep trying to add more stuff too I keep like I keep like adding I keep like adding more and more stuff so uh. One day, one day we'll go through and clean some of this stuff out. <laughs> King Willie's like, no wonder your computer just crashed. You got too much stuff on this thing. I'm live streaming on it. I'm uh, I'm running a live stream. I'm running these VSTs, crazy VSTs, just doing the most. much tremelo so much tremelo on that guy Sixteen gigs is a sweet spot. I got thirty-two. What about thirty-two? Is thirty-two too much? I got thirty-two gigs. Oh, that saturation knob, by the way, really just like, so you could run NASA. <laughs> Slow this guy down. I like that tempo. One time for the one time, I got people on time when it's sometime. Got no time for the one time, can come back through with the sunshine. Yeah. Time for the one time. <laughs> Thank you. 
Control S. Just keep the rhythm and play the right notes, and then we're good. There you go. that my camera works is it too much to ask for i think it's too much to ask for let's see if we can get it here i really want to play They got a lot of this space real quick.
você aí. Saturation knob for uh, so we, we add the knob in. Here's our kick pre saturation knob, post saturation, so more saturation.
like this weird sounding. I'm going to just copy the roads down to it. Those drums, okay. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Da da dum 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 dum.
Hey, Post and Beast, what's up, man? Of course I would freeze. Of course I would freeze. Of course I would. Of course I would freeze. 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 Okay, here we go. I like them little ghost notes that you could do. ghost notes you can do and the reason electric bass ghost notes right here see them little them little notes right there they just
something like that. Anyway, I just think that them little ghost notes kind of cool. A little more label. Save, control S, save. Computer definitely kind of halfway crashed on me earlier, so definitely got to save. Computer, stop.
I feel like the drums will have to be a little different for Kendrick, but I feel you. I feel like Kendrick would do like something a little different. Like slower, but like, but like slower, slower. Follow it with the follow with the keys. Something like that. How much a dollar really costs? I think you made a mistake. I, I, I don't, I don't, I think, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, um, what just happened, but, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know if that's that. What does that say? That, that right. Hey, yo, Hey, thank you for the super chat dog. I appreciate that, man. Hey, not you. Get out of here. Not not you. Move. Thank you so much for the chat, OV man. I appreciate you, bro. That was. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate that so much, big bro, man. Um, thank you for supporting the channel, man. That means a lot to me, man. That means that means that you know what I'm saying. We can keep going. You know, <laughs> we can do our thing. You feel me? And so, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for dropping that super chat, man. Nah, uh, it's 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 everything, bro. It's it's definitely much. <laughs> no, it's definitely much, bro. Thank you, bro, man. Thank you, man. Oh man. I appreciate that, man. Let me see if we can get this in there.
that's a first. Let's try something real quick. Let's try um uh let's 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 load up this grain manipulator and then check 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 We'll take that um Hey, we could do so much with just that. And now let's tune it. This one. Sound from the Lost Woods right there. That's not going to work.
I just, I just really just wanted to like. I really just wanted to try out this grain real quick. do another one uh i'm gonna do another one king willie and um let me see at uh, this time let me see if i can order it Of course it did. Very low. Yeah. All right, so Willie was saying, turn the uh, electric ring. loop Be experimenting, y'all.
Oh, we could have a lot of fun with this. Save! Control S! Control S!
screaming at me right now. Help! Help me! Help me! What you doing? What, what, what you doing, bro? It was too much. So like one day I'm going to look back at this beat and I'm going to be like, hey, what's that sound? Like that little eerie. What is that? And um, and I'm going to realize that I made that playing a harmonica. <laughs> Other stuff. That's real different right there. Real different. Um. Sound design, right? You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things we talked about earlier. How do you know if you're taking full advantage of reason? You know, if you're taking full advantage of Are you doing any, creating your own sounds, your own patches? Oh, that. Yeah. I don't know why. I uh, changed my audio to. Oh, look at. up not down all right below the note up yo chris what's up man yeah, let me know what it uh what's your question man, drop it in the chat. Drop it in the chat, bro.
Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I was talking with Chris in the um, I was talking with Chris um the other day in our uh in our free session. Um, I was telling him about the multi band compressor. Just you know how cool this this thing is. But it's called the multi band compressor. It used to be gold. It used to be that when you would add it to the rack or whatever, it would be gold. <laughs> it would be like a different color. But um, now it just comes up as regular gray. But it used to be gold. It used to look like not that. Uh, I don't even think they're gonna have. But anyway, it used to be this like really specific color. So to get to it, you just go to factory sounds, all effect patches, dynamics, general purpose, and then scroll down till you get to multi band compressor. Of course, you also could go to. Oh, wait, there's another one. There's there's a second one, actually. So go to factory sounds and then just type in multi. Right, you can browse it and then you can find the multi band compressor. And there's a second one as well. Let me see, where is this thing at? There's one right here. This is multi band compressor. And then this is multi band compressor. Okay, so they're both in there. They're both multi band compressors. Uh, you can find it like that as well. Multi band compressor. I think there's a I think there's an M class multi compressor. But anyway, that's how you can find the multi band compress compressor. All right, cool. I'm going to pull up this guitar rig. And um uh, I'm finna pull up this guitar rig, and if the computer wasn't screaming already before, it's finna scream now.
Stefan. I like the way this one sounds. Sound like all the way back.
All right, so like just because I have the guitar, um, because I have the guitar in my hand. Uh, yesterday I was making a beat with Redrum and noticed it's really difficult to find an individual sound as whenever I click on a kit, it would not show the individual drum samples in kit. Anyone got a solution? All right, let me see. Let me see if I can duplicate what you're saying. All right, I have a redrum here. This redrum is open. I'm going to go ahead and hit browse sample. Okay. And here I have my samples inside of this folder and I'm able to browse these samples. Now I'm going to hit browse patch and I can see that even though I'm in the kit, I can't see any of my samples. Does this recreate the issue that you are experiencing or is there another issue that you are experiencing you also can um load up uh oh yes okay so that is the issue that you are you are having then um one thing you can do let's see What the problem you're having is whether or not it's set to browse your sample or if it's set to browse a patch. If it's you got to pay attention to this orange, this orange right here and the orange up here. So it says browse patches for redrum two. So it's browsing patches. So if you wanted to browse for samples, you have to click this button browse for samples or you can just click the X and then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're browsing for whatever you're browsing for. It just will pull up whatever you have. And so if you're if you notice that there's orange here, it links with this browse patches for redrum. So if you have redrum patches, it that's what it's looking for. That's what it's going to pull up. It's going to pull up patches. It's going to pull up redrum patches that you can actually, you know, use. That's what it's looking for. So see, like right here, here's a redrum patch so I can pull it in. But if I wanted to pull in a specific sample, then I'm not going to see my samples because it's browsing for patches. So I need to click this X. I click that X and now I can browse for my sample. Interesting.
hopefully that works for you. I think that I think that would be I think that would be what I would think is the issue. I'm saying if that works for you, that does anything. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna open up. I'll open up this this guitar to sound good. Actually, good. I'm I'm kind of a little irritated. I feel like not sounding good. Something is something is off. Something is wrong, and it's just not. Nothing I'm doing is giving me what I'm looking for. So we're gonna we're gonna try to find. We're gonna try to do some stuff. So I, I do like to use an audiomatic. I know I want a compressor in it. I know I, I know I want this compressor to be pretty pretty hard. No, no.
want that sound. I also, I want that sound, but I want that sound clean as well. I want that sound, but I don't want that sound. I'm going to use a splitter right now. All right. Second one. Disconnect. What do we want? When do we want it? Now! Okay, so we definitely want this, this, not that, and not that. Two device from device. Definitely want this. Want this sound, whatever this sound is, want this to be dramatic coming out of this. Out this, yes, we want this to go there. Perfect. Now we want uh, something else. Let's add some more stuff in. We'll add some more stuff. Take this uh splitter here, send it out. Now we're sending that out. It's a clean signal. has a amp affected and then we can just take this well and we can send this oh we could just take one and send it back now that that has no effect on it at all um it's just a double it's a double oh you know what what if we add a what if we add a tape or some other kind of instrument and let's add that into here and then send it back out now we have vinyl
we'll do one more effect in here. All these effects. Uh, let's do a uh, sweeper. I'm out of here, into there, out of here, back into the splitter. <laughs> Add a fill. Add a fill. Oh wait, this. I need a. Fill. Apply it to that one. Add it in. Oh, any. This. The merger goes through there, and now everything right to hit. I got two cards that I like.
Mike, man. Appreciate you coming through to the stream, man. Get some rest, big bro. step poly step sequencer
this one is Now we have all those hi-hats. again for this kick drum Duplicate to all variations. Go through these variations. Add some stuff. Uh. Here, the whole pattern. Boom, ba boom. No, no, no. Undo, undo, undo. Enter track is what I mean. Enter track. Drums to tracks. There.
He said, I better see the block be used. <laughs> ah! You got it. I got it right now. Uh, watch this. Here you go. I'm definitely going to use it, man. You got to use, you got to take full advantage of the doll, okay? Take full advantage of the doll. Dang, I can't even find where the thing is at. Gosh. There it is. Enable blocks. All right, it's enabled. Here you go. Definitely using the blocks. You can't say I didn't use the blocks. There you go. Here's the hook. Can't say I didn't use it. Can't say I didn't use it. I used it. I definitely used it.
All right, is there a way I can flip this for a different sound? I like that. I like that. I like that. I don't like the drums. I like that, but I don't like the drums. Like a little reels, a um, little rhythm, rhythm.
tomaram. Parts, parts together. I suppose it's not best.
extra stuff. Like that I think that that guitar I think that that's cool
right, so this works perfectly for me because I actually started making some round now. You know what? I'm going to save this. I, I want to make a template. I really just want I to just
too. I need to rest. I need to relax. Thirty takes. Um, I'm I'm glad I found that quarter.
That's it. That's it. I'm done. That's I'm not playing that now.
All right, good people. I appreciate y'all for coming through to the stream, man. All of my good folks that came through. Raging Oracle, Doug Royce, OV with the super chat. Appreciate you, man. Mike Romando, Holla Sounds, Dr. Strawberry Crumb came through to the stream as well. Chris Joshua came through about to flip. King Willie also came through to the stream posting beats. Oscar Falkenbaum, Simba Screams, um... All these good people that came through to the stream, check your boy out, man. We've been streaming since pretty much 10 a.m. It was about 10.30 or so. And, man, I just got, like, just infectious, just just infected with this sound and just was just jamming out, man, and just, you know, just doing the thing. It's been a minute since I've been able to sit down and work on some tracks and stuff, and I just kind of just went in and just went ham, man. We had some ups and downs. We had some computer tripping out, but all in all, we was able to create some dope stuff. We also did a poll in which 64% of people voted we should do a gaming channel and so man we're gonna have to pick we're gonna have to figure that out we're gonna have to figure out how we can get in here and stream and do some gaming um and have some fun man you know what i'm saying to relax and in, in the time uh that we're not making beats when we was in the studio uh most of the time if we wasn't making beats we was playing madden was playing video games was playing halo was playing call of duty so you know the gaming and the music go hand in hand man they inspire each other so definitely uh gotta check that out uh johnny ravioli as well as your boy rome ashley prince mike george a major keys um all these good people came through to the stream today and somebody will say why do you shout these people names out that came through your stream that was in your chat i shout them out because i appreciate them man it's all love raging oracle is in this thing it's all love to you know everybody that's in the community that's coming out to uh, spread love and just hang out with your boy and you know what i'm saying grow this community man so check out the reason streams check out the website if you are looking into um getting some one-on-one -on -one coaching um some scheduling will open up available for that um in the near future and you can go ahead and grab some one-on-one -on -one coaching also check out any links in any descriptions of any videos it's all kind of downloads all kind of free sounds samples sample loop packs all kind of stuff coming up in the near future and that's already in these descriptions check out the reason studios uh youtube page it has a lot of my videos on there and the last video that we did for there has a free patch you can get this free polar patch that i created and check it out and see if you can get some cool sounds out of it um other than that man i appreciate you guys for coming through to the stream and yeah man thank you so much until next time peace later guys